Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ratchet and Clank beta. Uh, joining me is the always amazing, incredibly talented Mike Stout. I'm surprised you don't come in with the lovely and talented. Uh, okay, the lovely and talented. Oh, Thank we you. seem to have gone through the floor. Oh dear. Ooh. How'd you do that? This looks like beta stuff. So, <laughs> oh look at that. That's that's pretty rad. Um, so. Yeah, uh, when we streamed this, we got a lot of requests for some other stuff that people wanted to see. So, uh, yeah, um, we're going to go through some of it. Also, I should explain that the game is lagging because it's a beta. It's got a lot of stuff that it's trying to render and it's not equipped to do so yet. So, yeah. Uh, well, one of the reasons one of the reasons why it's not equipped to do so is because uh, since we didn't anticipate that you'd be flying around up here, none of the area where you are is optimized. So mm -hmm. you're outside you're outside of our occlusion area. Uh, occlusion means basically like, you know, if, if, if you're standing and you're looking at, you know, uh, uh, you're looking at something that's far away and then something moves between you and that thing that's far away, in games we don't want to draw that thing that is, you can't see anymore because the thing is between you and it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when you're on when you're on the floor running around as Ratchet, uh, we've so we've pre-calculated everything. So we know, like we divide the whole world up into this 3D network of cubes, and depending on which cube the camera is in, we know. Uh, oh, the wanted poster. Yeah. We know. Uh, I, I can talk about that in a second. But based on which cube you're in, we know sort of what things you can see and what things you can't see because we pre-compute it. So. Uh, when you're in those areas, it should be a lot less lag. Oh, each of these are individual blocks, kind of. That's interesting. Yeah, the a lot of times they want to make things that are modular and easy to put together. So, like, if you look at that building that you're staring at right now, yeah. you see those arched entrances to the building? Yeah. If you fly around and look inside of them, you'll notice that they're a completely separate thing from the building. They're just shoved into the building like a cookie cutter. Right, I see. That's because each one of those is exactly the same object. Yeah. It's just, it, it's a it's a clone, so that we only have to keep the object in memory once. Yeah. It also means that, you know, the artists only have to make something once. Mm, that makes Saves sense. them a lot of time. So they just basically build Lego blocks and then build everything out of the Lego blocks. Mm. It's really fascinating they had a, learning this stuff. Th there's a random plant in this one. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Uh, what building am I it? in? <laughs> what's below it? Is there are there like plants? All uh, yeah, I mean, probably like the... ivy on outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah there are. But this is so like some of it so far out. Wait, this is wait. There's even a there. Wait, there are bridges here. What? <laughs> yes, yes. But they you can't walk on them. There's no collision. Yeah, I'm not using ratchet, so I can't test that right now. Like, but we're so we'll far away. The... Like that's yeah. the that's the uh, training course. You probably can't even see this. Like, <laughs> that's that's the level yeah. of detail in this game. Like, that's so cool. Oops, it froze. Oh, did it? Oh, there we go. I was gonna yes. Say, uh, interesting. Well, and you know what happens touching. is as you uh -huh. as you move further away, it actually automatically converts it to a lower level of detail. So once you're too far away to see it, it will stop drawing it. Right. Uh, and that that goes for, and then the like you know how there's a whole bunch of things like plants like when you're looking at them they're they're very thin they're like one pixel thick mm -hmm. yeah those things we called shrubs and basically uh, they fade out into the distance and once they're fully faded out we just don't do anything with them anymore okay uh, we had three types of things and actually in the debug menu it talks about these types of things and you can turn them on or off to see which uh, like what what you're looking at is a shrub, what you're looking at is a moby, what you're looking at is a tie, and each of those have different properties within the engine. I don't know if that sounds interesting or not, but we could yeah, like, right. toggle those things off and I can yeah, how that great. works. Okay, so why did someone put the effort of making these? Because literally you can't even see these. <laughs> like, you know, well, that have... thing is probably everywhere and I rotated guess. different directions. Yeah, I guess. So you true. see, you might see one side of it from one side, but not from the other, you know? Yeah, so it's efficient. The, yeah, that, that stuff doesn't draw anyway, because as you'll see, when it's blocked, 
mm -hmm. uh, it knows not to to go. At, if, can you go into the debug menu real quick? Uh, I can, yes. So let's let me look at it real quick. You see, uh, Ockel, uh, like uh, down two. Ah, yes, yes. It's, yeah. So you can. Uh, there's a bunch of options for that. There's active, uh, off, and frozen. Okay. Which one? Uh, you want put it put it on freeze. Uh huh. And then go back into the level. Okay. Now turn around and look behind you. Uh, nothing seems to. Oh yeah, yeah there are differences. Yeah, like you things. See? Yeah, the the textures are noticeably blurrier. And uh, if you go. Uh, you'll notice there's some buildings missing here. Yeah, like, uh, there are a couple. So basically, anything that you couldn't see from there, uh, turn it turn it back on, and then uh, go back to Ratchet. Or uh, Ratchet's like just turn off the camera so that we snap back to Ratchet. Uh, okay, normal control. Now uh, it would lag. turn the occlusion back on. Otherwise, you're okay. gonna. So. Yeah, because it's drawing everything in the level. Right. So yeah. It's yeah. possible that could even crash the game. Right. <laughs> Maybe I should make a little save state, <laughs> just in case. Can't be the worst thing. Uh, yes. Nah. Uh, so, uh, okay, so is the occlusion, what, what state is it in right it's now? It's on. Okay, so yeah, so look, uh, look, look straight ahead in one direction and then turn it off. Okay. Or sorry, uh, freeze it. Freeze it. And then turn the camera on and fly around. Uh, okay. With it frozen. Now fly straight ahead and look at all the stuff that's missing. Yeah, I see what you mean. You see? There's yeah. like big holes where buildings were blocking stuff entirely. Yeah, I see what you mean. Definitely over here it's it's more noticeable. Yeah. Huh. That's kinda cool. So that's that's how we that's how we can tell uh, and, and all of this is pre computed automatically, right? So we have a we had a computer that would run overnight on each level and say, okay, from this cube, what can you see? From this cube, what can you see? For the entire level. And uh, uh, and would set it up so that when you're in the cube that Ratchet's in right now, it won't draw these things, right? right? The problem with uh, these beta builds is that a lot of times occlusion wasn't run on them because those levels weren't things we were showing. Right. So, so uh, that's why there's all these frame rate breaks is because you're running around with occlusion off. Mm in a lot of cases, or wrong in a lot of yeah. cases. So why does certain things like the top of that building or these plants survive? Is it just memory and they're really small? They're not using well, you, much of it? Or... You can probably see some portion of them from where Ratchet was standing. Right, I see, okay, okay. Right, so you uh, wouldn't be able to see the bottom of them. Like, or... Right, right. Okay, and then okay. some, some, some things that are transparent, like uh, they won't block things behind them, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and it's not perfect, right? It's not going to get everything, but it gets enough that we can actually draw everything. Like on the PlayStation 2, nobody could create worlds this big before Ratchet, right. and the occlusion was a big reason why. Like it's not like we invented it; it's just we used it first on the PlayStation 2, yeah. as far as I know. Uh, but yeah, we we this was one of the things we actually gave to Naughty Dog between Jack One and Two, uh, and the thing they gave us was that instancing thing I was talking about where you only need one copy in memory mm. and uh, they can make lots of different copies of it, you know? Right. So, so we sort of were trading tech that way. So when people said that we use Naughty Dog's tech, we're using their instancing stuff, but they were using our occlusion and we, we traded back and forth. Mm. That's pretty cool. So yeah, so that's, that's occlusion basically. Uh, the other thing is it like if you uh, maybe go back to Ratchet and turn, right, occlusion, okay. turn occlusion back on. Then there's yep. another, there's another menu here uh, in the debug menu that I'm gonna look for. Uh, pull it up real quick. Yep. Um, let's see. So uh, draw dist is one of the things. Uh, when you change that, you're changing how far away uh, movable things will show up. So if you set that down to almost nothing, things so will just sort near, of pop. In. There's near or normal, so just near. Yeah. And switch the camera, presumably. Uh, oh, just run whoa! Oh! Yeah. Oh! See? Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I'm so gonna move through the level for a sec. Now that's gonna make your frame rate better. Yeah, it most certainly does. <laughs> wow. We would turn that, we would turn this mode on when we were debugging uh, and trying to do work in levels that didn't have occlusion running. This is kind of cool. 
Yeah, I mean, the whole thing just sort of appears in front of you. Like, you've, you've seen places in the game before where you stand and a building disappears. Yeah, I mean, I've seen it in, like, Sonic 06 I played recently. I've seen it in that. Like, and I've seen you do it in Ratchet, too. Like, you'll just, uh, like, you'll, you'll move into a corner and a bunch of enemies disappear. It happened in Aquaros to you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's all, it's all this same sort of technology where we're trying not to draw or run anything that's not immediately apparent. Yeah. So that cuz everything that's running, you know, slows it down, right? So mm. the more the more efficient we get on that, the more we can draw and the cooler everything can look. Yeah, that makes but sense. Yeah, so that's draw disk. If you turn the draw disk back to normal, uh let's see. Uh go to the debug menu one more time. Let's see, where is it? Uh Draw. Okay, so uh over there should, there should be a thing where you can choose whether you want to draw uh, stuff or not. Like it's called, oh, profile. Go to profile. Uh, where is that? It's oh, right it's under right. control. Yep. Okay. What do you have options for there? Bars, Bar. render, mobies, ties, shrubs, occle, CPU, GPU, off. Uh, go to mobies. Let's mobies. see how that works. Sounds like a, like a bar. <laughs> go to <laughs> mobies. <laughs> Well, it's short for, for uh, you know how they call in um, in World of Warcraft, they call it the mobs? Mm, yeah. Uh, oh, this didn't work. We'll have to try again. But Well, Mobius was basically the same thing. Uh, it was mobile object, right? Sure. It was short for anything that moves in a Ratchet game, or pretty much any Insomniac game, is, we called a Moby. Okay. I just want to quickly check something. What's inside the stairs? Funnily <laughs> enough, stairs. I know, crazy. Those those stairs are, are Moby's. Oh look, uh, bolts. An example. I'm pretty sure the bolts are here because of the um, bolt grabber. The the uh, yeah, bo uh, or the metal detector. Metal detector. Yeah, I'm you're right. I'm pretty sure I, that's why. It makes. I went sense. and thought it. I went and thought about it. That's what it is. They're just sitting there so that you can suck them out of the ground. Okay, well I need to do this because I love doing this. It's one of my favorite things. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> The, the creepy Halloween mask version. It's pretty great. Uh, I want to see what the Metal Dogs and Owl looks like. Especially Owl, but the Metal Dogs would be good too. Uh, so you yeah, notice how, like, you notice how the bar on top is changing size, that yellow bar? Yes. That yellow bar is how much of the PlayStation's power is being used for Mobies. So things okay. that move, like, like Owl, those dogs, right? Enemies, the blimps, the, the moving cars, right? If you were to look straight down, <laughs> he looks like a pig. <laughs> but like you're, see, so you're inside out, right? So you're seeing nothing but Moby, pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty uh, so that, You know, each of those colors on there tells you how how much that's taking up. And you see that little gray line way to the right of the bar. Yes. As soon as either one of those two bars goes over that line, the game is breaking frame. Right. I see. So when we were trying to debug whether or not, uh, you know, like if the frame rate was breaking, we were trying to figure out why, we would load this up, look at the bars, and then we'd say, okay, Mobies are doing it, so let's put in some more stuff so that Mobies don't draw except when we want them to, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, I see, that's cool. Uh, you, you can turn this mode off. It didn't do exactly what I was hoping. Is there uh, anything else that you want me to show off of the profile? Uh, CPU, GPU, see if that shows up. Oh, hello. <laughs> Is it a bunch of text? Yeah. Uh, yes, okay. it is. So that's uh, that's even more information about what those bars are. So you that's see how really each cool. of those numbers is colored? Yeah. So going from top to bottom, oh, that's left to right on those bars, yeah. if that makes sense. Uh, shall I go into actual game and see what happens? When I yeah. Use it. Oh, actually, interestingly, it turns off the sound. Uh, it turns off the oh, music. It off the sound. That's funny. Just the music, though. The rest of the sound works. So if you want a sound font of any of these sound effects, uh, just get the get the beta turn on this, and you got a free for all. But you see how it, it's breaking frame right now because of Mobies. Yes. That's probably the crates. Right. When the, uh... the crates are crates are the only Mobies that use occlusion, uh, and if occlusion's broken, you'll see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these things, and it'll just destroy your. The, uh, the little line underneath the top line, you see that there's a, the, a little one on the left it's, underneath yes. it. Yes, it's, it's broken. But right. norm so... normally it would be big like the other line, but because we're using a, a, a debug build, it doesn't. 
the top it. line is the top line is the CPU. The bottom line is the GPU. So the CPU is the processor, like what you have in your on your motherboard in your computer, and the GPU is like what you got on your video card, right? right I see. So the bottom line is basically the PlayStation's video card, and the top line is the PlayStation CPU, and it can go out of frame for either reason, right? Uh, if it went out of frame and the bottom bar was all the way over, it's because it was drawing too many things. If it goes out of frame in the top bars, it's because it's it's running too many calculations, basically. I see. Interestingly, the music came back after I died. Oh, well, there you go. Why uh, am I really bad when I'm using weapons? <laughs> I'm now only good with the wrench. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, what else do we have in the debug menu? I think there's a thing where you can... Oh yeah, so where it says update over there, on the left, uh, Ratchet Boogie's parts camera. Uh, yes, so yes. You can turn those on or off. We know what Ratchet does, right? Yes. That, that's whether or not Ratchet's running. Why does Ratchet turn, have two T's? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> that's a good question. It's probably just a mistake, a typo. Well, was he originally going to have two T's in his name? As far as I know, he wasn't. Okay, interesting. Uh, but uh, if you turn Moby's off, Mm -hmm. And go back in, into the game. Oh, uh, you'll notice that you'll notice that all the enemies have frozen. Yeah. Also, is that building different? That building looks different. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, no, it isn't. Okay, I thought the building looked different for a second. Okay, yeah. It might look different in the final version. Maybe. Oh wow! Now it's got. Yeah, you can't, it, it, they're, they're not doing anything. Yeah. Huh? Why did it turn green? Is it because I killed it or? Oh, it's not doing Did it anymore. what turn green? Well, well, the dog I hit had a little, like, tint of green after I hit it. That oh. might have been a particle effect on the wrench. Oh, okay. uh, so w an, when you look back at the debug menu, there was a an option called parts. Right. That's particles. So okay. if you freeze those, basically, that's like when a weapon explodes. Yeah. You know? Uh, if I and, turn uh, Moby's on, are they all gonna die in one hit? No, they're they're all gonna attack you. Oh, okay. So they're not. So the damage I just did didn't actually count. It didn't do anything. No, they 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 don't have any way of knowing you're damaging them because they're uh, off. Ah, okay. So is that how it works in the Insomniac Museum? When you have something like this, you just turn the Moby off. Uh, it actually I actually didn't do it that way, but that is a way I could have done it. Okay. The way I did it was I made a copy, another copy of that Moby, just its art in one pose, because that took up less memory. Ah, uh, okay. I see. Because having all their animations in memory is really expensive. So if I was to uh, hit the... this crate with parts off, would the explosion just stay there? Uh, there would be no explosion until after you turned it back on. But right, since, Mo I see. since Mobies are off, if you hit the crates, nothing will happen. Right, I see. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I want to check something quickly. Yeah, play play around uh, with it. Play. I'm just too slow. <laughs> Although, we do have a pretty cool image of all the uh, explosion, explosive debris. Yeah, so that, that you know, you can, you can freeze. When you, when you put the camera into camera mode, it automatically freezes all of those things for you. Yeah. But it, we let you turn them back on or off so that you can sort of see how stuff is working. This guy looks so surprised at what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> I love the dogs jumping away as well. Yep. Interestingly, the... Uh, the wrench, the wrench fly through is actually still moving, and the sound effect's still going in really slow motion. Yeah, the Moby, that Moby is, I mean, the wrench is a Moby, right? It's yeah. just, just like the enemy, it's a moving thing. Ratchet is too, but he's the one exception to the Moby's rule uh, in terms of the debug menu, because we want to be able to control him separately. Oh my god, I never realized it goes through the floor. You oh, yeah. sly dogs. <laughs> I mean, how would you know? There's yeah. just so much going on. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't. In Starting in Ratchet 2, we had a system where they would bounce around, but in this game, we didn't have it. I see they a problem. They fade out. <laughs> I think I'm about to be hit. <laughs> <laughs> if you turn it back on, yeah. Let's find out. Mm. Oh, no. Surprisingly, I live. Oh, because your wrench came back to you. Oh, dear. <laughs> see, you could, you could freeze it and put it back up, yeah. Yeah, no. Did you notice how his helmet and everything stays behind? That's because those were other Mobies that were attached to him. Right, they weren't part okay. of his, They're not part of his uh, uh, whole setup. Yeah. I'm, not part of... Mo I, uh, Ratchet was Moby's girl, I think. I'm going to uh, do a Ratchet-free thing and just fall down. Because <laughs> why not? Uh, yeah. 
There's one, yeah, and you can see all the cars flying around you. It'll be cool. Yeah. I wonder how high I can actually go. Probably quite high. Uh, you could go as high as you want. If you look at the whole level, it might crash the game. I see. <laughs> okay. Um, well, uh, given that you're on an, given that you're on an safe emulator, state. it probably won't because you're on an emulator. Right. Probably. It, would just, it would just put it down to like one frame at like worst. It'll just use up your memory, right? Like, because yeah. uh, we only you remember the PlayStation Two only had thirty-two megs of RAM. Oh, that's so small. Yeah, so we have to fit everything into that. Oh, right? wow, like, that's so cool, though. <laughs> yeah. Look at that! But that's see, so awesome. You have, you have how much RAM in your computer? Uh, thirty-two gigabytes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's pro probably whatever small overage there is from seeing everything is going to crash your computer, right? This yeah. is really cool. I wonder how far I could travel. I wonder where I'll go. <laughs> Let's find out. Where, where will I land? Regret nothing! I do regret nothing. Um, wrench slam, go! As fast as you can! <laughs> oh, oh it, ca it cancels out <laughs> it after work? a while. It cancels out, that's really interesting. Oh, it oh, nice. Huh, interesting. And there you go. That's Stuck really cool. Huh, I, I didn't realize it would cancel out. I guess it's because you can't... There's no point in the game where it would ever need to be that high. So. Yeah. Well, I, I guess they want eventually to put you back in your normal fall state. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Huh. That's cool.